everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about beauty secrets over 50 to give us that facelift look with application of makeup so we're going to work on our cheeks today my eyes are done I already have my foundation on skincare foundation all of that so my skin is already prepped but now I need to go in and make the magic happen and we're going to do two sides we're going to do one side with the traditional way that you're probably used to doing your makeup application and the other side we will use the the facelift look especially for more mature women so i will start i apologize i'm going to start on this side with the traditional way here will be the uplift look so let's get started. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I've spoke about this product before, and we're just gonna go in and apply the contour. And when you apply the contour, you're traditionally looking for the hollows of your cheek. So you're looking to find that spot right below your cheekbone, and that's where you would apply your contour. I'm just gonna go below my cheek. Looking crazy, I know. And then I will go in and just stipple that out and blend it in. And see how it does diffuse. I know it looks a little crazy, but it does blend out really nicely. And you're just keeping it below your cheekbone. And you can see right below the hollow of your cheeks and then next I'll go in and I'm going to do the other side but this time instead of following the hollow of my cheeks below my cheekbone I'm actually going to bring it up a little bit higher and you want to bring it in more of a vertical shape a vertical line rather with it ending just about at the end of your lash line. So I'm going to bring this down higher on my cheeks. And again, just blend that in. And can you see the difference where the placement here on this side is lower and this here has a more uplifting higher placement gives a more uplifting look now just give you as you can see how this is higher lower it already lifts my face just by applying just my contour I haven't even applied my blush so now we're going to go in and use our cream blush and the cream blush that i have is the elf putty blush in Turks and Caicos, I'm almost positive. And I'm going to take that, and I think I'm just going to use my finger for this so I can get more of a precise placement. And generally, the traditional way, most people would smile and put it on the apples of their cheek. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna smile and just blend that in. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side, but this time I'm going to go higher on my cheekbone. So I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down and I will not be touching the apples of my cheek. I wanna keep it higher to give me a more uplifted look. So I'm going to start here and pat it in. And generally, Whenever you're working with products, the first application is going to give you the strongest payoff. So I don't want such a strong payoff here. I wanna bring it down and start blending it and not look like a clown. I just wanna add a little bit more up here. Okay, I think you can see, at least it's showing up in my mirror, how this blush here right on my cheekbone i smile i applied it and then i let down my smile and my face just drags down whereas on this side i smile and you still get that vertical line and that lift 
and if I drop it, it's not as drastic of bringing my face down. So I apologize, but I actually forgot the other part of the contour. So I'll finish off my contour. And generally, or traditionally, I'll continue to use that word, we would contour in the hairline and then just go ahead and blend that in. And this helps to diffuse, especially if you have a bigger forehead, you know how I talked about where darker recedes. So with the placement of darker clearly will help recede. And you may know that traditionally it's the three, most people will use a three to contour and bring it underneath here. So you got that three, but that's not what we're gonna be doing on the other side. On the other side is take our contour, but instead of bringing it into the hairline, we're just going to bring it into the highest part of our temple right above the eye and blend that in, which will give us can you see the shadow there? So I'm just applying it right above the highest point of my eyebrow. And you can see that shadow effect, whereas here it doesn't do much. It's not giving me a lift, but it's bringing everything up into my temple, which is what I want. Apologies for out of sequence in, in that, but I totally forgot to do that part of it. Anyway, so here we have our contour applied, we have our blush applied, and the contour up in this forehead area. You can see the difference. So now that we have our blush and our contour finished, we can just give a look here. I think you can see the difference in how the higher placement over here and just the application we used here gives a more lifted look versus this side. So now the last step is gonna go in with highlighter. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Easy Highlighter. And I think I'm just going to tap it on my finger and use my finger to help me. And usually you would put the highlighter. You know what, I think I'll just use this because I'm used to it right here and then just tap it in with your finger that's the traditional way you just want to add a little pop on your cheekbone area and there you have it now we're going to go on the other side and use a different method of application and here we're going to go right over here on top of our blush so you're going to have your contour your blush and then i'm going to apply the highlighter up here above where I place the blush, but not as far down on my face. I just want to add it up in this area here. So let's go ahead and do that. And if it'll come out, that would be helpful. So can you see that? And just tap it in and blend it with my blush. So you have your contour, your blush, your highlighter, all in one seamless sort of flow, but they all have their distinct function. Okay, can you see the difference? Because I can, I don't know if it's just me looking at it in the mirror or I just know more what I'm looking at, if that makes sense, but I can certainly see the difference. And then what I would do is I would just take a little highlighter and just put it right above my eyebrows. So I just applied the highlighter above the top of my eyebrow, right below where I had placed the bronzer and the contour rather. And I just tapped it in. And now when the natural light hits, I have the window right in front of me and I don't know how much you can see the difference, but I can see that shade of highlighter that's just a little bit more illuminating. 
I think is the word I'm looking for. So, so far that's what we have. All cream products I used. So now we're going to go in and just do the same applications on both sides, but using powder products. And I'm going to start on this side again with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm just going to do the same application and I'm just going to run it right below my cheekbone in the hollow of that space. Now I'm just gonna blend it out with a little bit of a more dense brush. Okay, so that's the powder on there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but starting higher, just like we did with the cream. On a vertical line, don't forget that's important placement. And that's what we have so far. However, I still need to blend this out a little bit more. Can you see the difference? No, I keep asking that because when I look in my mirror, I can certainly see it. And I really hope it's coming through on camera. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Cheek to Cheek uh, Blush Powder in the shade Ecstasy. Here's what that color looks like. I'm just gonna swirl it around, tap in the center. I'm gonna smile and apply. Now I'll drop my smile. You see the difference in how it just fell? Okay, let's do the same on the other side. Same application, higher on the cheek, starting at the top and working my way down, not going past the lash line here and not applying it on my apple of my cheek. And then I'm just going to blend that out. So it's not drastic changes, but it certainly is enough to have the illusion of the lift. I know I keep repeating myself, I certainly see it, and I hope you guys can also see it coming across on camera because it does, for me anyway, I mean, there's really no right or wrong way to do these makeup applications. I'm just trying to offer some tips in what may help you feel a little bit more lifted as we age and mature and just trying to give you a little bit of a different uh, angle. But I hope that comes across that, you know, this is not the wrong way to do it. People have been doing this and continue to use it, you know, apply their makeup this way. Nothing wrong with it. But as we talk about aging, this just brings our face and the illusion of everything being lifted. And there you have that. The one last product I need to do is the powder highlighter. And this is the Hourglass palette. It has all, like that's the bronze and two blushes. And then there's highlighter in there. So I am going to just use my finger and just dab it on over here and can you see that okay now we're going to do the same on the other side but just with different type of placement okay so that ends today's video. I hope you found this useful. I hope you can see the difference. Again, there's no right or wrong way. It's just your comfort level and the look that you're going for. I just wanted to share this technique and this tip. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if you'll be using any of these application methods or if you'll stick with the traditional way in which you apply your makeup. Please subscribe, hit the like button, share this with someone you think may like this. Until the next video, see you soon. Bye.